Howdy. So we're back out to the cabin to try out these new bindings. Uh, get back to my cabin and uh, take care of the driveway. So, as I, I posted a video up last week on the install on these. It was nice and easy. And, uh, and now I'm just going to walk back in. Um, yeah, it's about 17 degrees down here. Not that bad. I don't have bibs on. I'm hoping not to need them, but I have them in the car if I need them. So I'm going to center up these strap. A little bit more than that. I'm on a public road, so if a car comes by, I might have to grab the camera. Okay. That one down. And when we get up to the cabin, I will uh, do a more detail video here. This is just a little bit. Okay. And it's just me, so I don't have someone to move the camera around. So, might be a pain in the neck. Put my boot in. Cinch it down. Really it, that's kind of easy to get on. Especially if you compare it to the other ones, which are a pain in the neck sometimes. You could probably cut a little bit of this extra strapping off. Same thing on this one. Pull some of this through. Loosen this one up and move it over. Okay, based on the install, I'm happy already. We're putting them on. That's easy. So I'm going to shut the camera off snowshoe back and uh, get the tractor going and then I'll take these out for a test run after, uh, after I get the driveway cleared out. Howdy. So, uh, got a couple miles on these things now. Walked around the property a bit. And uh, I, I really like these bindings. Um, sizing wise, I could have definitely gone down this one size. Uh, but it doesn't seem to be a problem having them oversized a bit. Like I said, I have a, a 10, 10 and a half boot, winter boot style. Um, these are uh, my cold weather hunting boots. And, uh, I have the uh, the 12, 13 bindings, and I probably could have gone with the 10, 11. But uh, I love the ease of getting them on and off compared to the uh, the stock ones that came with the uh, the military snowshoes. Those are a bit of a pain. Um, I haven't had these come off once, and they're new, so you know maybe at the end of the winter I'll do an update on uh, how they held up. Yeah. My other bindings worked great when they were new too. Uh, they they came off much more frequently after uh, after I uh, had many many miles on them. The, uh, the binding comes on and off just by pushing down on a little lever here, and then you can pull the strap through, and then you're good. Getting them on, 
you know, loosen the straps way up and uh, slide your foot in. It, it's really a nice system and simple. Uh, haven't had a problem with my boot sliding. Uh, you definitely want the 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 toe binding, especially because these are bigger, uh, as tight as you can get it. Uh, if it's loose, it, it, my toe hasn't come out because it can't slide back far enough for it to come out, which is nice. But uh, it feels more secure uh, when that front toe is very tight. Um, I haven't had a problem with the binding shifting on the uh, snowshoe at all, even going up and down the hills. It, uh, it's a good system. Uh, the only other thing I'd really like to add on to these sometime would be uh, some s sort of a crampon on the bottom for uh, some extra traction. Uh, if it gets, when it's icy out, these are like skis. <laughs> they, don't, uh, they don't dig in very much. There's a tiny bit of uh, material on the side that has some teeth. But it's not, it's not good enough. It wouldn't be hard to take a piece of angle iron and strap it on the sides and then sharpen some teeth into the angle iron. And then if I wanted to take them off, I could. But like I said, I've had these for about five years now and uh, I've used my, uh, my father-in-law's tubs. I actually have those in the city as well. And I prefer, I prefer these. Um, even with the binding issues I was having, I preferred these. Uh, I, uh, it, 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 his ha do have crampons and it makes it nice if it's slippery, slippery and, they're, and the bindings were easier but I feel these are more stable and uh, yeah, even with all the holes in it yeah, once it loads up a little bit with snow they provide pretty good flotation I mean there's only a foot foot and a half of snow down here right now um, but when I was walking around and just my boots yeah, I sunk to the ground and here you can see I'm just sinking through the soft fluffy stuff at the top that fell last night. It was a real fine snow that came down last night. Um, but I don't sink in at all. And uh, you know for weight wise I'm 200 pounds. To give you an idea with with jacket and boots and everything else you know, what, two, 210, 215 probably. Um, yeah weather wise today's an ideal day to be outside. It's about 19 degrees. No wind and uh, you know, no snow right now. Um, yeah, I was uh, I was kind of not looking forward to coming and taking care of everything, but I, it was nice to use a tractor. Well, on a separate video, I'll post that. Um, it was nice to use a tractor and and get some time away. Um, I have to go back into the city. I'm hoping to be able to stop and take some photographs uh, up on the lake because it just started to freeze over. But uh, I need to head back. And uh, we'll go for a little walk here. And uh, you see the valley while well I'm over. But uh, like I said, I've walked up and down the hill in these so far, and the bindings are rock solid. Um, and I'll put a link again to where I got them from. Um, he has a website, they're the same exact price if you get them from Amazon or if you get them from him. Um, I, on his website, though, I had said these straps would be easy to replace. He actually does sell replacement straps for these for five bucks. So, like I said, it is, for $40, it's a great deal. I'll let you know at the end of the season how they held up. But uh, based on what I've seen so far, I have no doubt that they're gonna you know, hold up to the level of use I give them. Um, oh, and uh, I'm trying out new audio after people have complained for years over my audio. Um, I have a, a Rhodes mic on there with a well, dead cat, dead mouse, whatever the heck they call it, on top. So right now the wind's blowing and I'd be interested to hear what people think of the audio. Uh, I don't like using a lapel mic because I always brush into them. Kind of a pain in the neck. Uh, and this summer I'll be upgrading to a camera that could actually track me, which would be kind of cool. I can wear a little device and as I walk it'll follow me around, which is should be interesting. I'll see. Uh, that's supposed to be here in August, so it's a really long um, pre-order window. So yeah, let's go for a walk and take a look at the valley, and then I'll bid adieu. So anyone who's not so to anyone who's not a regular viewer of my channel um, and just happened to find me because of the snowshoes this is my country property where most of my videos take place uh, the, this channel is dedicated uh, or revolves around my cabin and the projects uh, related to it so things like our tractors 
building the buildings we build, maple syrup, uh, you know, logging, uh, what else do we have on the channel? Um, some baking once in a while. I'm not a great baker, and those are my lowest viewed videos, but I haven't done one this year, still. Uh, the cabin's an off-grid cabin I built myself about seven years ago. Um, and actually, I'll, let me pan around here so you can see it. That's my place. Um, and behind that's a pole barn we built. We have a guest cabin that's back in the woods a little ways. And, uh, yeah. So all the, all the videos and everything on my channel is related to that. And this is my view. And that's, that's an awesome view. And we didn't have much of a winter until recently, but the snowmobilers have been out. That's my neighbor's snowmobiles. Uh, his property line is right ahead of me. Uh, and this is a, a hay field of his. I can hear them up on top of the hill. Uh, they're up today. Uh, the big field, uh, about a mile up. And they're probably cruising across that. But, uh, yeah. Gorgeous day, gorgeous day. So, if you like this type of stuff, yeah, subscribe. I'm going to be spinning off some things to a new channel soon. Uh, I've done occasional electronics projects on this channel. Um, I, I, cause I'm into photography, I make some things. Uh, like cam, I made a camera slider. Um, I made a, uh, a panning device for my GoPro to do time lapses and things like that. Um, and I've been thinking about creating a channel just for that stuff, cause there's some things I want to do, and this channel really doesn't overlap with that very well. Um, when I do it, or if I do it, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll make a note here, and if people want, they can subscribe. Um, also, some photography stuff. I get a lot of questions about how some of my photos, how I do uh, create the photos, and how I edit them. So, when I get around to it, hopefully sometime this winter, I will, uh, I'll do it. But, yeah, what a gorgeous view, huh? So, I'm going to head back now. But uh, hopefully I'll start getting some more regular videos instead of every three or four weeks. But until next time, thanks for watching.